All right, so today we are going heavy hauling. Anyway, we are going to be heavy hauling a massive John Deere Cedar with kind of our mobile home hauler. This is kind of something that I just thought would look cool hauling one of these. So that's what we're doing today. Anyway, if you guys enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Also, go check out Jake's channel. He's going to be our pilot truck for the day. So you guys want to go check him out. His link will be in the description. Anyway, we're just heading out here to the John Deere dealership. He's supposed to meet us there. We're going to get all hooked up and going. Basically, we're going to be transporting this to a farm about two hours away roughly but basically this thing is absolutely huge so yeah it's gonna take quite a bit to get going so hopefully we should be get out oh, jake's here today already all right so we'll just back on up here and because we got to get going here because we got a lot of stuff to do today so just back up here oh that's too far a little more a little more there we go all right let's get this thing hooked up all right so just want to do a quick pre-inspection make sure we're all good to go here yo jake what's up bud Hey, what's up, boss? How's it going? Uh, not nothing much. Uh, it's it's going good. Uh, yeah. So, this is the beast we're hauling today. <laughs> I see that John Deere. Uh, I was gonna read the number, but it's blocked. Yeah. Eighteen nine. Something wow. like that. Yep. I'm a, I'm a little bit concerned about this truck. I probably should have bought, brought something bigger, but you know what? I think it'll be fine. I think you should be fine. You should have plenty of torque. I mean, it's made for a hauling mobile home, so it can tow a lot. Yeah, and this thing's empty. I don't think you're going to have any problem. Yeah, I hope not. All right, so we just want to do a quick uh, pre-inspection here. Make sure we're all good to go. Make sure there's yep. nothing wrong. Lights all work. I believe so. I'm just going to give them a quick test here real quick. All right, we're good? Yeah, yeah, it all works. All right, cool, cool. The arms, do we have a ratchet strap just to make sure that they stay in place? Just kind of... Oh, uh, they're locked. Together. They're locked in place. They're locked in place oh, by pin. They have transporting uh, pins in them. So, we're good to go. Awesome. Yeah, I think we should be all good. Sweet, cool. sweet, sweet. Well, if I can uh, snag your help getting the uh, the over, over... Oh, my gosh. The oversized load sign on the truck put in place and the flags. Yep, for sure. Road. Let's go do that. All right. So, if you want to just pull that pin and you okay. should be able to... Got this pin. Got that pin. All right. So, just slide it up. Yep. Just slide it up. All right. There we there go. go. Lock it in place. Yep. Perfect. All right, we're good? Yep. Okay, well, then I guess let's get going. Don't want to waste no All time. Right, so we're not deviating from the route that we have on our itinerary here, right? Uh, no, no. Uh, there is some super short. There's some super close power lines. There's some super close trees, so we're going to have to be extremely careful. It will end up scraping the, the cedar just a little bit. Not too much, though. I have told the client, so he's fine with if there's a, a tree branch on there or a little scratch. He's fine with it. That's the only way to get through without having to basically, well, what's it called, uh, take it apart. So he was like, it's right. fine. Don't worry about it. Just as long as you don't do any major, major damage, we're fine. So so we'll be taking that left onto gravel before that uh, construction. Yes, there is construction right. up there, so we can't go there. So, yeah, kind of sucks. All right. But, oh, well. Uh, all right, I'm on uh, CB13. I'll hop in the truck when we'll yep. hit the road. We have uh, two train tracks to cross and I believe two bridges, two or three bridges. Not 100% sure right. on that one. I, I believe it was two, but it could be three. All right, well, we were scheduled to leave here at 10, and it is and 10 right now. And it is right 10 now. right now. Yes. Let's get the oh, heck out of here. All right, check, check on the CB. Copy, copy. All righty, let's get out of here. All right. All right, so I'm going for cruise control of roughly 15 miles per hour. Copy that. 15. Checking for traffic. You are clear. Alrighty then. You should be able to go ahead and pull out. I'm going to take opposite lane just in case to stop anybody that might be coming. Alright, I should be good here. Yep, everything's looking good. Alright, I think we're going to keep it a little less than 15. I did notice this yeah. thing does push me quite a bit. So we're just going to have to take it a little easier. I am going to bump it up to 10 though. Copy. Man, this thing is an absolute beast. It is massive. Cruising right down double yellow, are we? Well, I mean, I, I don't want to go off on the side of the road, so. No, that's smart. That's smart. And there's not a lot of traffic out today, so we should be good. No, we're clear on the hill. I can see. I can see beyond. Perfect. I can get over on the with this thing pretty fast, so. Yeah. Yeah. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yep. It's a shame that there was that road construction up there, though. Yeah, it really sucks. It's gonna, I mean, how long does that prolong our process here? It's probably an extra. That's a, at least an extra hour going yeah. around. So, yeah, it, it sucks, but oh well. 
Not too much you can do. I guess you better watch out for deer here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm towing one right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you have your proper uh, tags for that, sir? Uh, I, I don't think, think so. <laughs> <laughs> getting the getting the permits to haul this thing was a pain, dude. Oh, well, Especially yeah, since I, we had to go on all those back roads, it. Yep, it was a pain because we had bridges and train tracks. It was not fun. Yeah, well, that's why we wanted to. Uh hit the road exactly at 10 because we're scheduled with the train company to fit right through a gap yep so we can't be late and we can't be early yeah we got to be right on time hopefully no delays that's what we hope i've done a heavy haul kind of similar to this before so it's just been a little bit of a smaller cedar so this is the, my biggest one yet so the biggest cedar you've hauled is it Mm-hmm. i don't think I john deere makes you. much bigger than this as far as uh, I know, a little bit bigger. I don't know too much, but I, I doubt they get much bigger. Yep. How far is our turn up here? Uh, we've got another, what did I say, maybe a couple miles, three miles. Okay, I think we can bump it up to at least 15 now. All right, copy, going up to 15. And that's 15. All right, I just don't want to get going too fast because then that's... Uh, starts to push it a lot more if we start going down a hill so yeah we'll be at your pace no problem that thing probably doesn't like high speeds anyways nope it does not i remember uh, one of my trucker buddies was telling me that uh i think it was on the i think it was on the what was it right side he had one of the front wheels on this thing or one on one of these things come off and totally oh, screwed really? up a bunch of pavement really yep bearing just uh what the like the lug nuts just not tight or what i guess so and just came up came off and tore it out so yeah it was a pain i guess during transport then huh yep they were flying down the highway uh no i shouldn't say this but it's a shame it didn't happen when the client got it and signed up on it so it wasn't uh, <laughs> the truck driver's fault <laughs> yeah yeah he was actually hauling it with the client at the time the client was in the truck I'm going to suggest we uh, we slow down here, boss. This yep. is going to be our turn. I'm slowing down to 10. You're going to want to hang wide right. So oh, boy. We're going to have to slow down a little more than that. I'm, I'm taking right off my cruise control. I'm going full pedal on this one. Copy that. You do have culverts on both ends, and you do have two signs on your inside on the turn. So watch that. Yeah, I'm taking this one hacking wide, boys. It's going to be a... Uh... Oh, boy. I'm watching in the mirror. Should just be able to make that. You? No, we're going to make it. I think so, at least. In the ditch a little bit, but that's fine. You can ride that shoulder. There you go. You cleared it. All right, bumping Perfect. the cruise control up to 10. Again. Copy, going to 10. I don't think we want to go much faster than 10 on the back roads here. I think you're right. We're headed straight, if uh, memory serves. That's yep, just says. following yep. this road. All right. I should have plugged it into the GPS, but I just looked at the map on our on the itinerary. I didn't plug it in. It's kind of my fault. We are going to have some low-hanging branches here. You're going to want to probably favor the left a little more. It looks like there's a tree coming up with some pretty thick branches hanging out there. You should be able to clear it just fine. Looks like there's just enough of gap for you. Yep, we checked this. This was all checked before, so that's what I said. Yep. Could catch a couple of branches. We're going to try our best not to, but if we do, we do. Yep, I'm just going to warn you of things I see along the way. Yep, for sure. I hear uh, the company I work through, there's a possible job coming up soon. Uh, it's a little ways away, but might need another driver. Oh, really? Be interested. Yeah. What's, uh, what's the job? Well, it's out in Cali. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and it's hauling one of those uh, giant, you know, those earth movers, right? Like those big cat, they weigh like 690 tons. Oh, dang. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that a tandem haul? Yeah, four semis. Ooh. Four semis, two trailers. Yikes. Put the weight between both, yeah. Oh, man, that's going to be that's gonna be insane. And you're yeah, looking I for another driver a, on that. I could use another lead truck, so if you're interested. Dude, I'd be interested. Seems, seems interesting. What kind of trucks are you driving? Uh, they are cat um they, they got the cat engine everything is cat it's branded um this is a contract through cat 
Oh, really? So, wow. Yeah. So we're hauling the cat dozer, the trucks, literally their paint schemes all cat and stuff. It's it's kind of weird, but hmm. they're pretty nice trucks, tri-axle, you know, the drop axle on it, uh, 800 horsepower per truck, four of them. So what's that come out to? That's, that's quite a bit. That's a lot of horsepower, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I think we got a bridge up here, do we not? We do. We will have a bridge coming up on this uh, turn. All right, all right. So I'm curious, you specialize in heavy hauling too, do you not? I do, yep. Okay, so you kind of do dual just for the company? Yeah, I have, uh, I've got my CDL and it depends. It kind of just depends what the what the job is on the day. Today uh, okay. it was drive the pilot truck. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha. We are at the, uh, the bridge here. Plenty, uh... All right, I'm slowing down to about four on the cruise control copy that you should have plenty of room on the width i think yeah i think so it's a pretty good size bridge i'm gonna try to keep it on the middle as best i can i know i'm kind of over to the left right now all right looking good you do have the branches coming out on a little yeah little i'm gonna have to hang a left over there it's kind of scraping a little bit but oh well yeah but you just got the leaves that's all Bad. All right, moving cruise control back up to 10. Copy that. The road got a lot narrower, and the trees got a lot shorter. Oh, yeah. Yep, I'm noticing that. Yeah, I wish my company would have sent a bigger truck. Oh, man, this is not the ideal truck for this. Yeah, I suppose they figured you're just pulling it with a, with a hitch, and you weren't putting it on a trailer or anything, but a single axle, I'd, I don't know. Personally, I would have at least gone with a dual axle your standard truck but yeah i don't know they they said it was gonna be fine so i was like okay all right i'm not complaining it hey, seems to pull it fine it just has it just pushes it just a little yeah i guess if the guy that makes the decisions oh, oh boy she's pushing a little bit there i can tell yeah she's got to be you on your toes bit, or what are you thinking no we're doing good we're doing good okay all right bumping down cruise control to 10 because we're coming up to the rail line here Yep. Looks like we timed it just right. I'm going to have you hold short just a little bit, just in case. You don't have to stop, but just let me check the line first. Just right, I'm, sure I'm holding down to five. I believe it yep. was uh, 1120, so we're actually two minutes ahead of the schedule. Yep, you're clear. It was 1120 that we were supposed to go to cross, so I guess technically we're one minute ahead of schedule now. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the time you get there, we might just be on time. Guess we'll see. We had we 10 minutes to cross, so we're... Yeah, there it is, 11.20. As we cross, we are on schedule, boy. Ooh-wee. It's going to be... It's going to be interesting. All right, we got to cross. We had 10 minutes to cross if we had any complications, so... Right. All right, yep, we're good. Bob McCurry's control back a... up to 10. Copy that. We have a bit of a grade up here, just so you know. Yeah, that's why I'm bumping it up to 10. Man, this grade is pretty steep. Whew. It's probably the steepest one we've come across yet. Oh, that truck really seems to be handling it fine. Well, I, w I wouldn't see why it wouldn't. You'd have a pull on the inside of that turn. You should watch. You should have plenty of room to get around. But yeah, I, I'm thinking I have pretty much any room I want at this point. Pretty gradual turn in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, we're pretty good. Man, these lines are getting pretty darn low. They are. We're going to be hanging right. I did bump my cruise control down to 10, by the way. Copy that. Got more lines, but we should be fine. They're all usually set at the same height. Gotcha. Oh, no, that one was higher. That one was a little higher. How about it? Utility boy is not doing their job right. <laughs> all right, a bit of a grade here. Not too much. Yeah, a bit of a hill. Rolling hill. Less than last time, that's for sure. Yeah, not as bad. You want me to give you a little leeway here? I can get out ahead. Uh, it's about as... I'm going to stick at 10, so... Alrighty. Beautiful day out, though. We got the windows down, cruising along the road. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's nice out today, that's for sure. Ooh, that's got a steep crest to it, though. Ooh, yeah, it does. 
that road would be fun going a little fast, I think. <laughs> I mean, not with the load, but... <laughs> yeah. Nope, we're, no, we're not... Uh, no speed demons out here. No, Take her easy. we get paid for. <laughs> I wish I got paid for that. <laughs> hey, that sounds kind of fun, to be honest. Ah, this is what we get for showing up early. Man, that's uh, that's interesting. They said 15, right? Yeah. Oh, I guess yeah. they'll be going past then. We're here at 12:07. They get they got a tight little window for us. Yep. Yeah. Man, if we'd gotten here any earlier, we would have had to wait. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm fine with having to wait for the train though. It's yep. No problem. That gum, that's taking a while. Yeah, they put them far back because the trains take a while to stop. There we go. Let me just double check. Yeah, we're all clear. All right. It's 12-12, so. Oh. They could have told us a little sooner then, couldn't they? Uh, yeah, but I think they wanted us to give it. I think they uh wanted to give us some extra time there, so. I assume they wanted to give the uh the operator of the train time in case he was a couple minutes off schedule. Yeah, I believe the farm's like not that. too far away because we're getting pretty darn close to deadline here. It is not too much farther, boss. Not too much. I do believe we have a bridge to cross, and we should be almost there after that. Mind you, that was uh, estimated delivery time. That was not... Uh, we don't really have a deadline, per se. Yeah, there's not a deadline. It's just an estimate of when we should show up. And we're pretty well on schedule, so. Well, we were actually a little ahead of well, schedule. Yeah, we are pretty a train. little ahead. This truck's doing pretty good. I'm surprised. Ten no complaints. Than I thought it would. Yeah. Man, that'd suck if you got stuck on a train track, though. You'd have to call the rail <laughs> company real fast. You would. They don't. <laughs> those trains run on clockwork, dude. We'd have to get one stopped quickly. Yep. And they wouldn't appreciate it because then they're going to be delayed on their deliveries and they got trains waiting on trains to cross loads and trucks waiting on trains to uh, load or unload. It'd be a mess. Yeah, that's for sure. It inconvenience a lot of people. Yep. I had a buddy hey. there. He had a pretty co close call with one because they, they usually give like a three-minute window uh, on each way pretty much just in case. Right. So, uh, yeah, he came pretty close. Did he? He got his deadline here. He could he could hear the train coming by the time he got across. <laughs> heard that, uh, heard the train horn from a, from a mile away as it started to blow, I suppose, right? Yep. Yep. He was pretty, he was pretty, uh, pretty rattled after that. All right. We're hanging right. All right. Sorry. I just had to deactivate my cruise control and I was having, it was being a little finicky, so I had to move it down to 10. Gotcha. There real quick, but uh, yeah, we should be almost there. Looking good. Right, right across the bridge, down the middle, should be fine. Pretty close. All right, we're good. Very nice. You know what? I think we are going to show up on schedule. Just barely, I think. All the rain we've been getting is crazy. Look at all the, the ditch, the waterway, the build up there yeah it's it's pretty bad but luckily the roads dried up in time for us to do this so we were pretty good yeah a couple puddles here and there i think this road was recently rocked so we've got a nice fresh you know bed to travel on here yeah that's for sure going Turn back into the, the trees again hill. yep back into the trees all right a little bit of the last grade there yep I not can too see much place Yep. Man, we that's going to be an interesting minutes. turn. You got, well, six, well, you got five minutes now. We got five minutes, and I'd say we're here. If he if he can see us, we're there. Yeah, we're still not in the yard, though. All right, which is going to be our best way to pull around? It's looking like I'm thinking the other way. Yeah, you want to come up to the highway. This is his little, I believe, a hog barn, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think he just that wanted a nice open place for us to drop it off. That is a cattle barn. Oh, that's a cattle yeah, barn, it is. Wants, he wants it dropped off up here, the front, the main part. Yeah, you should have room to pull in. We got After two that, more minutes. <laughs> two minutes. I'm going to check for traffic. You're clear. 
take an opposite lane just in case anybody comes as you try to make your turn. One minute. No oh, man. I think we made it. We're here. We are literally we're here. Let me get in it and then we're here. Look at that. They're oh it. just, just time. out of time. <laughs> Dad gum. Just barely made it. That's how I that's how I like it. That's what I call <laughs> scheduling right there. And I made it in the yard just the same time too. Perfect. Oh that boy, that that dual out, wheel is man. gonna be a little closer to that culvert than I'd like. Let me watch you here. Dang. You're good. All right, there we go. Oh man, dude. Sweet. I good went job. pretty well. Yeah. Down here, literally everything went to schedule. It was great. Yep. Perfect. All right. Well, I'm gonna get this unhooked, and uh, yeah, I think we're. I'm gonna head back to to the, my shop and I guess uh yeah let me know uh, if you have any other jobs coming up here yeah so. yeah I'll let you know I um I think I definitely will so I'll, g I'll give you a call if we're heading out to California and I'll have you run out there with me and yep for sure alrighty bud well I'll talk to you later then Alrighty, boss. Need anything? You got my number. Have a good one. Yep, you too. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. And go check out Jake's channel. If you haven't already, he makes amazing content as well. So, you guys want to go check him out. His link will be in the description. Huge shout out to him for being my pilot truck and helping me out today. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one. You want me to, well, there's no way I'm slowing that guy down. Woo! Oh, <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm gonna...